All right, what's going on, guys? Today, we are going to be talking about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty. It's been a pretty big topic for the last few years, but specifically the last few days with the release of the Cold War Alpha, it's been about as big of a topic as I've ever seen it. I did do a whole separate video giving my thoughts on the game and stuff, so go check that out if you missed it. But in that video, I mentioned that I wanted to do a separate video to discuss skill-based matchmaking because I think it's important that we talk about this because there's a lot of people who I feel are a little misinformed on the situation to put it in a nice way I guess so let's start with the basics right what is skill-based matchmaking you'll probably see it written out as SBMM most of the time so if you guys were ever wondering what that meant now you know but the idea behind it is basically they try to match you up online versus people who are determined to have a similar skill level to you. Now, how do they determine people's skill levels? Well, they haven't exactly released the formula that they use. However, it's believed to be based around like your KD, win-loss, score per minute, accuracy, stuff like that. But we're pretty sure that KD is like the main factor for it. Regardless, it is confirmed in the game. That part is not a debate. Here is a tweet from an actual Treyarch employee who worked on the game confirming that it does exist and it has existed for a while just to get that one out of the way in case anyone you know was still denying it the debate now is whether it's a good thing or a bad thing but honestly I really don't think it's a debate skill-based matchmaking is absolutely terrible so let's talk about it first of all the main two arguments that I see in favor of skill-based matchmaking is, number one, they want to protect the noobs and the bad players. If you're a new player or if you're a bad player, you shouldn't go up against the good players. Well, that's just stupid, right? Because everyone was new at one point. You know, when you first start you're not going to be the best player, right? You put time into it and you get better over time. It's a video game. We don't have to protect people's feelings. You're supposed to be terrible when you first start. And the only way to improve is by playing better players. You're not helping out the bad players by having them play other bad players all day long. Then they're all just shit together. No one's getting any better there. You get better by playing good players and seeing what they're doing and trying to learn from what they're doing so that you can get better. That's just life. Like, that's just common sense. So that's a terrible excuse to have skill-based matchmaking in the game. Now, the second reason that I see is usually something along the lines of, like, you're just terrible at the game you get shit on every game that's why you don't want skill-based matchmaking something like that right I'm sure you guys have all seen a comment like that before so let me just put a stop to that right now one of the most outspoken people so far about skill-based matchmaking is none other than skump himself so you want to try out that logic on me or anyone else like okay fine man you know if it makes you feel better in your imagination to think that like I'm getting shit on all day long long that's why I don't like skill-based matchmaking like if that makes you feel good okay cool man but now let's apply that same logic to skump who happens to share the same opinion that I do that skill-based matchmaking is bad and a lot of other pro players hate skill-based matchmaking as well so now let's think about it once again right so you think skump and the majority of every other pro player is just loading up Call of Duty and getting shit on because of skill-based matchmaking. That's why they don't like it. Like, do you really think that? Like, do you realize how stupid you sound if that's what you think? So it's not about doing good or doing bad. It's about the fact that it's not fair. Fun. It's not enjoyable. That's the issue. So with that being said, let me now tell you the actual reasons why it's bad. Okay, so there's this big misconception that people don't like skill-based matchmaking because they don't ever want to play against good players, right? They're trying to hide from all the good players. But that's really not it at all. Like, I fucking love playing against good players. Like, you guys know all my OGs out there. Like, between both of the channels, I might have like 400 YouTube videos of me playing against like good players, you know, between Road to Master and Smack and Sweaties and all that stuff from back in the day. Like, 
like that's how I started making YouTube videos by playing against good players like you think pro players don't like playing against other good players they're literally professional players that's what they do for a living they play other good call of duty players that's not what it's about it's not that we don't want to play against good players it's that we want to play against them in an actual competitive game mode aka an actual ranked playlist let's look back at black ops 2 right they say there was some sort of skill based matchmaking in black ops 2 whatever it was it was certainly not on the level that it is now because pubs in that game were pretty normal you had your regular experience but then if you wanted to play some competitive you load up the league play and then you get your competitive experience in there and, and it was actually really fun right league play was amazing other than the fact that you know your router might get deep fried sometimes other than that league play was awesome right I played so much league play like it was great it was the perfect combination right you had your pubs when you want to chill and do whatever and then you want some competition you go to league play and you do it there right best of both world so that's all we're asking for you know nobody's asking to dodge the good players or anything like that we just want to play them in a ranked playlist where it actually makes sense where you're actually playing for something you're playing for a rank that's something that i think people are maybe not thinking about you know and it's something that we definitely have to keep in mind call of duty by default it's not really a competitive game. If you think about it, right, there's a lot of games out there where the professionals are basically playing the exact same game as everyone else. Call of Duty is not one of those games. In competitive COD, they have way less players on the map they ban half of the game modes, they ban half of the maps, they ban half of the guns, half the attachments, half the kill streaks, half the perks, half the equipment. They take out half the fucking game when they play competitive Call of Duty because there's way too much bullshit in Call of Duty that they add into the game to help out all the noobs. Base Call of Duty is not a competitive game, man. Like 6v6 domination and seeing which team can C4 the B flag the most times to win the game like that's not a great showcase of skill right 6v6 tdm see who can camp back the longest with an lmg or like that's not skill you know what i mean so you don't want to take something that's made for casual play and try to make it competitive like it just doesn't make sense call of duty public matches are really meant to be played for fun and then finally we have the last and final argument this one really is the worst like this one really makes me think like there might be something wrong with you like you might be a little bit like mentally off maybe a couple extra chromosomes or something like but basically you'll see uh something along the lines of this this type of comment okay you'll see oh you just hate skill-based matchmaking because you want to play noobs every game you're just trying to get a good gameplay for youtube of you going 50 and one that's why you don't want skill-based matchmaking okay mr big brain let me just explain something to you real quick so do you think if we don't have skill-based matchmaking in the game that you just get to play noobs every single game like i guess back in the day before skill-based matchmaking existed every good player was just walking around with a 78 kd because we just pub stomp noobs all day right that's why they implemented skill-based matchmaking to protect all the noobs i don't know why they need protecting it's a video game if you die in call of duty you're not gonna die in real life it's okay to do bad in a video game like i said that's how you get better when you first start you get shit on on over and over and over again until eventually you're the one shitting on someone else because you actually put the time in to get better that's life but back to my point just because they remove skill-based matchmaking doesn't mean that you're never gonna play good players again all that it means is you don't have to play them every fucking game you actually get some variants you know one game you might get a lobby full of handicapped kids who can't even shoot straight, right? Like they're aiming with their big toe or something, right? Who knows? And then next game, you might get matched up with the full Optic Gaming roster and they shit on you. Oh well, and then next game after that, you might get a mix, okay? Now this lobby, there might be some good players in there, might be some bad players in there, maybe the majority of the players in the lobby are average players. Like, wow, what a crazy concept, right? It's almost like that's how Call of Duty used to be back in the day. Wow, that's crazy, right? And if you think about it, all of the older Call of Duties are some of the best games. Wow, that's so crazy. I wonder if there's any correlation there. Probably not, man. I'm just being crazy, right? I, I don't think there's anything there, right? Surely that can't be part of the reason, but yeah. 
that's pretty much it for the video, man. It really is that simple. Two separate playlists, ranked, unranked, easy, simple as that. Will they do it? Probably not, but we have to stand together as a community on this one, man. That's the only way we even have a chance of anything getting done, okay? If they see that we as a community are like debating it or whatever, like they aren't gonna change shit, right? They have to see that as a majority, we all come together and we all, you know, share the same stance and then we might have a chance. But if we can't even do that, then there's just no way. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, I uploaded my uh, Call of Duty Cold War Alpha impressions video. So if you want to know my full thoughts on the game, go watch that one. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to have a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.